Hello everybody, I am Srinivas Aravapalli. I am the Chief Executive Officer of Blue Binaries Engineering and Solutions out of Chennai. Blue Binaries Engineering is offering services in the area of automotive electronics and we offer services through work packages and turnkey projects for OEMs and also tier 1s in again automotive electronics and electrification. In India, we have a very good chance of electrifying the majority of the automotive population that is two-wheeler and three-wheeler. You know, India is the largest market of two-wheeler worldwide and uh, to the extent of almost 21 million two-wheelers have been produced in 2018-19 time period and that's about 2.1 crore vehicles a year. When it comes to three-wheeler also, it is same, almost like largest manufacturing market, about 500,000 three-wheelers being produced a year. It's a quite a sizable amount of the market size. And electrification of two-wheeler and three-wheeler is going to be relatively an easier task compared to four-wheeler passenger cars and SUVs, as you know, because uh, of the reasons, uh, one being the range anxiety not being there, two, the complexities associated with the higher and higher voltages not being there, three, it is more suited from a cost of ownership and cost of economics point of view as the petrol prices are going beyond 110 rupees a litre in some cities. Now, this is going to be the most economical mobility option for Indian consumer. So you look at from a technology perspective, commercial perspective, electrification of two-wheeler and three-wheeler is going to be certain. And with that, the overall industry has to get up, has to catch up to meet up this electrification demand. That's importantly, the vehicle manufacturers, hundreds of startups have already come in to produce electric scooters, electric three-wheelers, and also small pickups, delivery vans, so on and so forth. Now, to produce these many vehicles, we also need to have the technology. That's where you know a lot of technology companies are going to come in and we need to have components, systems and parts. So, to supply the components, parts and systems, quite a lot of existing tier 1, tier 2 automotive companies are also switching over to electrification and they need quite a lot of engineers with electric vehicle background, with electrification skill set in the industry to catch up to the need. Therefore, Cloud Campus with their courses, I'm sure they'll be able to catch up to the required demand by upskilling the talent in the industry, by giving the right capability and right skill sets for the engineers in India to serve the electric vehicle industry. Hoping, hoping that all, with all these efforts, overall industry, especially electric vehicle industry in India will catch up. All the best. Thank you.